Uh, snow is on the way this morning as the uh, Met Office issues another yellow warning for snow and ice. When I say it's on its way this morning, I'm not sure that's actually true. Might be in some parts of the country, parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland uh, could be blanketed. The temperature will drop below zero for much of the country today. Let's go to John Hammond uh, on this one. John, when, where and why? Oh, he's got his woolies on. Well, I have got my woolies on. And, um, yeah, you may be forced to wear that Christmas jumper which your mother lovingly knitted for you. If it gets uh, bad later on this week, it's going to be that cold. Um, at the moment, uh, the air's coming down from the Arctic. Uh, that's never a warm direction, uh, as you may know. And it is now below freezing virtually everywhere. So if you're stepping out over the next hour or two, uh, mind your feet, you might slip over in that because it's icy. Now, snowfall is restricted at the moment to the north of Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, just fringing into the east coast of England, and one or two flurries drifting down out of Liverpool Bay into the West Midlands. So on social media, you'll see some pictures of snow, no doubt, uh, taking place in some places. But I must stress, most of us are not snowy at the moment. Most of us are just frosty. And that's the way it'll stay through today. Crisp, sunny freezing cold temperatures across the country will barely get above freezing today i think the fun starts really as we go into tomorrow in terms of more widespread snow and that's going to affect initially parts of northern ireland scotland's going to get a blanket of snow across glasgow edinburgh through tomorrow that will be disruptive and that's going to push into northern england through the day as well so it's these more northern areas which are going to get Quite a lot of snow, I think, over the next 24, 36 hours. Some of that will extend southwards. I must stress, though, that there had been the chance that southern counties were going to see snow through the midweek period. That ain't likely now. So if you're, if you're dreaming of some of the white stuff across the south, you might be disappointed. There might be the off flurry, but for most of us, um, no snow through this week. But in terms of temperatures, yeah. I think uh, once that snow has fallen, Snow does a funny old thing, you know, once it's fallen on the ground, it prevents heat from coming up from the ground. So for really, really low temperatures overnight, you need a blanket of snow. And I think the coldest night this week will be on Wednesday night, where some places where we've got snow cover across parts of northern England, North Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland could get as low as minus 15, possibly even minus 20 degrees. Now, that's uh, near record level in some places. So that's one to watch. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, some remarkably low temperatures. How long is this cold spell going to last? Through to the end of the week. The charts for next weekend look mild, wet and windy. So if you, if you like the cold weather, I'm afraid you've got to make the most of it. It's not going to last all that long. If you don't like the cold weather, and I know that goes for many of us, the good news is it's not going to last for weeks and weeks. It'll be all over come this weekend. What if you don't like either? <laughs> Just bring, bring on the summer is what <laughs> I say. You'll have to move. Um, this Move isn't to another country. Well, that's yeah. a good point. Um, look, this isn't an academic question, but it's just an observation because we get up and so early in the morning, I'm slightly obsessed with what temperature it is and will I have to scrape ice off the windscreen and all that jazz. Mm. Um, this morning it was minus two, which is the coldest it's been at three in the morning as we've been coming in over the last week. We've had some cold temperatures and yet I didn't have to scrape any ice off. And yet last week it was around two, three degrees yeah. and I had a full you know, job of getting the ice off the windscreen. So yeah. could you explain to me why that is? Is it something to do with the wind or the, the yeah. cloud cover? I was, I was bamboozled it's, by that this morning. It's, 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 it's about it's down to how much moisture there is in the air. Now, when you get air coming down from the North Pole, from the Arctic, it is inherently quite dry air. And uh, so it doesn't have any moisture in it, uh, which is why uh, your windscreen will not be icy this morning. Uh, what moisture there is, is near the coast, which is why the, the areas exposed to the coast are getting these snow showers because the wind blows over the sea, picks up moisture and dumps it as snow across the north of Scotland. Uh, coastal areas seeing quite a bit of snow uh, in the north today. But further inland, pristine blue skies, very dry air, very cold air. Uh, but many of us won't be scraping the windscreen this morning. Cheers. Keep warm, wrap up. Um, 